Okay, we got this small block Chevy crank in here and you see it ran out of oil, so it scorched the number one rod pin. But you've heard me say this before, anytime there's a rod bearing situation like this where it gets hot, it can bend the crankshaft because all the excessive clearance, the pounding from the connecting rods will bend the crank. Well, here's a classic example. You get ready to grind this thing, but we gotta check, make sure it's straight. So I'm just here at the center main and I'm bent almost nine thousandths. As I spin this, see. And then I'm gonna check it over here as well. But you can see how it affects the entire crankshaft um, on a rod pin that gets overheated like that. All right, I'm gonna check the uh, number two main here, closest main basically to the issue. And I have about 10 thousandths out around there, see? So, shaft is bent, we're gonna straighten it. Okay, we got our crankshaft all straightened. Um, I straightened it with this hammer and this peening chisel. And basically how it works, there's another video on this, is you strike the radius, just like that with a couple taps on the low side. So the low side happened to be right here. You know, the high side was over here, where, but it was bent here. I, I took me about five or six tries, uh, just tapping out lightly right in the radius, you know, and that relaxes the metal. So let's see where we're at. Here's the center one. It's almost dead nuts, just with a hammer and chisel, but it's gotta be straight. And um, like I say, tr oh, actually I'll show you here. We'll loosen our dial here. We'll come back over here. Tighten her up. Okay. Now, I did not strike over here, but you saw here how it was bent like eight, nine thousandths and it's bent like 10, 11 here. I did all the striking right here, but all the striking right here actually relaxed the metal throughout the entire crankshaft. So, change that dial to zero here. I'm rotating it. See, pretty good. It's damn near zero. So, we are in good shape. We can grind her up, baby. All right, we've got our crank set up. We're ready to knock out the number one rod pin here. We're just gonna, the goal right now is just to try to get it straight so we can mic it, get all the crap off it. It's got all that aluminum from the rod bearing. If I'm coming in easy here, I'm, I'm rotating real easy. Now I'll start to apply the steady rest here a little bit, kind of screw it up. Come in and touch the radius. Just the steady rest here. So you get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and turn this so that line's out of there, and I'll see uh, what size we are. Okay, ended up taking this thing 30. Look, it came out nice. You see that, <laughs> see that big bump there? How much we got to go, but that's what you got to do. When you say a bearing goes out, it really mars it up. I mean, it would have went 20, but there was just too deep of a line left in there that I would uh, suggest. Like I say, this is for a customer of ours. This is not an engine I'm doing but I treat it like it's our engine we're doing, so uh, we want to do it right, so we'll grind her up. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chamfer the oil holes. Since we had to go 30 under, we took the chamfer out of those oil holes there. So I want to chamfer it before I polish it. So we use this tool, this um, Epic Burr tool. Just go real slow. That's all you gotta do. Just give it a little chamfer, give that oil some room to flow. Okay, we got our small block crankshaft all done. 
That's the rod pin that was junk. Got her all deburred, polished. Come out real nice. Had to go 30 on the rods, 10 on the mains, but she is gonna be out in the lake sometime soon. So there you go. Straighten and grind. All done.